Ava is um, having her first job. She's cutting some bushes and, and stuff around the house that we're staying at. So that's cool. She's got her first, first working job. She wanted to get a job at a, a restaurant or something, but uh, it's a little hard to do that sometimes when you're, when you're first starting out. So now she'll have a little experience in something. Uh, anyways, we are going to be scraping tar some more today. And uh, we got to check our mouse traps because we did get a mouse down below. We had about seven of them in our dock box, which we were playing hockey with <laughs> our broom. Mouse hockey. Mouse hockey. <laughs> Trying to get them off the boat. But one of them climbed down the chain locker uh, into the boat. So we put some have a hearts out. So hopefully we caught a little mouse. Also, spray down the through holes because we are going to, we're going to spray them down with PB Blaster and hope that we can actually take them apart instead of having to cut them and buy new through holes. It would be nice because they're kind of expensive. And Pete is poking at the boat with sharp objects. What are you doing? <laughs> it just sounds a little loose. Loosey goosey. Yeah, but I think it's just because it's dried out. These are through bolted. And pulling nails. <laughs> That's another task. So I guess we got to get started in getting all our lights set up, get extension cords run, and getting lights down in the boat today, which will be nice to be able to see down below. Mm. Just sort of checked the caulking seams everywhere. I know some checking and stuff on some parts of the paint. Not too terribly, but. Some places a little worse than others, like here I'm noticing I can peel the caulking with my fingers. So I'm just going to go around with a pokey tool and pull out any caulking that seems like it needs replacing before I put paint on, which I have to show you the paint colors I got. It's going to be a lot more off-white than the white that's here. And Norna's still in primer, and she did good in primer. There's a few spots that kind of chipped and stuff that I'm going to redo. And the green is actually going to be a lighter all over a lighter olive colored green. And the name of the paint is Hulls of Ivy. Hulls of Ivy. Hulls of Ivy. Which it could also be interpreted as Hulls of Ivy. Hulls. Hulls of Ivy. <laughs> and Ivy. and the white is cottage white. Hulls of Ivy. And cottage white. Wow. Welcome to our Hulls of Ivy and Cottage White. That's quite but it's good. beautiful. It's gonna be a very nice color. Can be hard to paint with that boat. The orange on Pete's truck is called Atlas Orange, which is kind of cool. And I don't know what the white was called. Some sort of off-whitish. Antique. Holes of whites! <laughs> okay, anyways, off to work with us scallywags. <laughs> about halfway on scraping on Norna now. Well, halfway on one side. On one side, yeah. Um, we still have well, grind. Yeah, we still have grinding to do, uh, but we have to wait for the grinder disc to come in the mail. So we're just going to spend that time scraping. Um, what we're doing now is we're going to we got to move these dinghies out of the way. We're going to actually pull our dinghy out towards the front because I think this year we're going to launch our dinghy. We're going to take our outboard and put it on the dinghy so that way we can 
zoom around the islands a little bit and check out a few things. Um, and then, since the dinghy's gonna be in the water, we also brought our sail rig, our rudder, our lee boards are in the boat. We just gotta see if there's a sail. So we're gonna do that in the next couple days, weeks, whatever. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go have a water break and then when we get back, we're gonna move everything over, this tarp, move the dinghies, the jack stand, so that we can get to this section of the boat. Got our dinghy out now. What, Pete? Seat. Yeah, we pot that popped off. I remember when that. We actually, I think, took that off because we didn't need it. With the, we this, we got a little there. repair here. It, it cracked probably from sitting on its side for so long. So we got to grind that down and reglass right here. And I think I'm gonna sand this thing, or Ava or whoever is gonna sand this down in here, and either leak tokens the side and oil the bottom or whatever. I mean, just clean it up a little bit, put some bottom paint on it, and throw it in the water. Wish we had some more of that great paint. Scrape the bottom. We have through holes to remove. Hopefully those will be removable. And then we also have to drop the rudder because there is copper in between, and it'll be easier to clean up and everything with the rudder off. <coughs> it's got grooves in it, and there's grooves in the through hole. That goes into it. I just tight might be loosey. Here, move this up. <clears throat> yeah. That's cool. Yep. That's a good sign. You only have three to pull. And maybe the drain plug. <clears throat> Good job, Pete. Once the grinding was all done, it was time to fill the nail holes from all the copper nails that were on the bottom of Norna. So what we used was Type on 3, the waterproof glue, and then some wood dust. And then once we got it to about the right consistency, we filled it into a syringe. And little by little, filling each and every nail hole. And sometimes it took a couple tries because the tight bond would sink into the hole, but it filled in nicely and it did work, which was great. So, slowly and surely, we're getting there. Mm -hmm. 